Alright, so in this video we're going to demonstrate the speed of iPhone 3G versus 3GS. Um, you've probably seen a lot of YouTube videos comparing those, uh, but uh, most of the ones that I came across compared um, applications like gaming and you know, heavy duty applications that obviously show a much bigger difference in 3GS. But uh, since I use my phone on a daily basis, all the usual apps, I thought I'll just go through, you know, the normal apps that you generally use on a daily basis. So on my left hand side, I've got the 3GS and on the right hand side, I've got the older 3G. The 3GS is a 32 GB with a white background. The 3G is a 16 GB with a black background. Now I cleaned both these units up because uh, later on we're going to see some fingerprint uh, how badly fingerprints behave on the 3G as well compared to 3GS if you know we can see it on camera uh, but that's for later on so let's go ahead and fire both these units off uh, this one doesn't have a sim card the 3G this one has a sim card uh, let's one two three go okay here we go the Apple logo came up faster on the 3G versus the 3GS but let's see which one takes longer to boot Okay, here we go with the 3GS, the 3G still working. And here we go, finally this one comes back. Still a little bit laggy, we have to give it a couple of secs and here we go, no SIM card installed. Alright, so that gives you a bit of a um, an idea on the startup time, the 3GS is a lot faster. Let's go ahead and launch the text app on both of them and one, two, three, go. Okay, see how fast it came up on the 3GS and here we go with the 3G let's go back to the main menu for both go back over here and launch it one more time one two three go see it comes up comes up pretty quickly on the 3GS compared to the 3G 3G takes a while uh, let's go ahead and launch contacts now we are in the phone book and we click on contacts let's scroll down this list both of them seem actually pretty okay at this time. Ah, there we go. See the 3G kind of starts lagging a bit. Uh, 3GS, not so. Scrolling is quite smooth on it. No issues whatsoever. Alright, let's get back to the main menu and let's launch Twitter later. Okay, here we go. And there we go. It took a little bit longer on 3G. Uh, let's launch Beehive. Again, much faster on the 3GS versus the 3G. Uh, let's go ahead and see a video by going into the iPod application. See it's already loaded here, it took a while. Video and let's see what do we have over here. Let's go to Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park and let's start numb. See again a little bit of lag on the 3GS versus it. Uh, a little bit lag on the 3G versus the 3GS. Alright, coming back now, let us go into the email. Well, alright, here we go. Uh, again, see, lag as far as scrolling is concerned on the 3G versus 3GS. No lag whatsoever. Let's go ahead and start typing a new message. I'm gonna have to put one of them down. Uh, let's start typing on the 3GS first. And let's just say, hello, how are you doing today? Enjoying the new iPhone? Well, no lag as you saw. Let's try it on the 3G, which sometimes does have a bit of a lag. Hello, how are you doing today? Enjoying the new iPhone. Alright, 
we didn't see much of a lag this time around but I have noticed that at times when you're typing on the 3G it is it is a bit laggy all right let's switch to the browser now on both of them and here we go um, bum, 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 bum. let's load tech dot tea break dot com and that's already here um, well ah, sorry this is in google tech dot tea break dot com so Here we go. Now let me hit refresh on both of them at the same time. There we go. Both of them are connected through Wi-Fi at the moment. And well, there you go. The 3G has pulled it up a lot faster than the older 3G. So browsing also is uh, a lot faster on the 3GS. All right, let's go back to the main unit. Let's try locking both of these and then unlocking. So here we go. And let's release the lock they're both good no issues whatsoever um, again there's a little bit of lag at certain applications on the 3g compared to the 3gs which is what we wanted to show you now let's try and see how good the fingerprints look let's see if the camera can capture that let's start with the 3gs right now this is the screen that you're looking at and this is the back side not much just a little bit on this now let's look at the 3gs i don't know if you can see that from the camera or not but yeah quite a few smudges on this one i don't think the camera kind of shows that but uh, yeah there we go Alrighty then thank you